I think the most beautiful thing for me about the practice is when it moves into the understanding of everything being Shiva and Shakti. Shiva is this strong vertical pole, this absolute stillness that we experience, which is underlying all of the Shakti, which is the movement, which is the color, which is the manifestation that we see. And in our practice, it is the movement, the breath, the sweat, the tears, <laughs> the, uh, the emotions, the thoughts, everything is, is, is of the manifestation is Shakti. And Shiva is the stillness that observes all of this happening. So this combination is very powerful. With this practice, the mind becomes calmer and you start to go away from stress and being completely identified with the thoughts going on in the mind. Um, but they don't need to stop. They just need to be witnessed for what they are. This is the nature of the mind. Thoughts come and go. This is probably the most powerful thing I've ever learned in my whole study of yoga, my whole journey, is that I'm not the mind. Before I was completely in it and just run by my thoughts. And now I, I have this ability through the practice of yoga to be able to just watch them. Not all the time, sometimes getting identified, but knowing, ah, I've just become identified with the thoughts. And this is really the power of the practice. For me, it's, it's the, the real beauty of the practice.